Prettifier Life and today I'm going to try something completely new and will it work? I don't know but I'm hoping so. So this is my one of my favorite things it's my round top collection um, chalkboard that I keep on my kitchen island. Um, I love it but I've never been able to do those fancy chalk arts. That I, my chalk art my writing looks horrible, it ticks me off. So I saw something on Pinterest that I thought I would try. So I found this product. Um, it's by Martha Stewart. And it is liquid chalk. I have not had good luck with chalk in the past. I find it leaves a shadow no matter how much I scrub. This honestly didn't get great reviews on Amazon but I'm going to give this a try because I like that it's like a pouncing stencil application. I like that. So I'm going to try something new and I'm hoping it works because that will really open a lot of doors if it does. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got some stencil um, vinyl. I've had this for years <laughs> and I've never used it. It's ore mask. I honestly don't remember where I got it. You can't just find this everywhere, so do a Google search. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I hate when I can't give you sources, but I know it's ore mask stencil film 813. Okay, so I have found an, uh, a cute trick or treat design on my Silhouette Design Store, and I'm going to cut that out using the vinyl setting with a kiss cut at pressure of one. So I have pre-measured my chalkboard and I want to keep the cute little um, pumpkin on there and so it, I'm going to go with about a height of five, um, you know, about a five by five or a four, and a, a four and a half by five area design. So I've pre-measured and now I'm going to cut out my design that I found. Okay, here's the design that I found on the design store at Silhouette. Uh, the Silhouette Design Store um, design. I bought it. I have an account there. So I bought this design and I resized it to the size that I think will work on my chalkboard. I have my, uh, my stencil paper ready to go and I'm just going to cut this out now. Okay, now that my design has cut out, I am just going to weed. And you have to really think about it because you're typically, when you cut something out, you're taking away the excess around the design. But this, since this is a stencil, you have to kind of reverse your thought process and take out the design that was cut so that we can pounce the chalk on it. Okay? Let me finish this up. Okay, now I have it all weeded, which it weeds fantastically. And I'm going to take it off my mat. I have a really new mat, so I'm kind of, I don't like what that's doing. I'm gonna, I'm going to cut around it. It's the problem with new mats, they're almost too sticky and yeah, I did try to de-sticky it a little bit, but wow. Okay, now that I have my transfer cut out, I can't find the camera. Let me back it up a little bit. Out of practice, y'all. Okay, now that I have this cut out, I'm going to peel it away. It's, it's sticky, but not as sticky as vinyl. That makes sense. Ooh, I wonder if I should use the transfer tape. I think I'm gonna get some transfer tape so that all those bits and pieces don't tear. Okay, Okay. I put some transfer tape on the top of my design and it's peeling a lot better. So, oops, just one little piece. There we go. Now, you can take the top off these chalkboards. So now I'm going to just kind of center it where I want it on the chalkboard. Okay, now that I have it placed where I want off center, because I'm, remember I'm going to put my pumpkin magnet on there, 
Now I've just pressed it down and I'm going to peel back carefully the transfer tape. Press this down just a little bit better. I hope this works. I'm going to be so excited if it works. Okay, now I'm going to press my stencil down so that we can avoid having chalk bleed. If you can see that. You see that stencil? Okay. Okay, now it's the moment of truth. Okay, now I've already opened up my Martha Stewart chalk. You do have to unscrew the top and take off the little protective um, seal and then just twist that back on and you're ready to pounce like you're, you know, stencil painting. Okay, let's cross our fingers. I'm trying to go lightly. I don't want bleed through. I've never used this, so we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna pounce all over. I like it because you can, can kind of control um, how dark or light you want something with this. This is pretty cool. Okay, it's the moment of truth. So far, so good. Let me finish weeding this. And what's the result? It totally worked. I am so excited. This is a quick and easy craft project. You don't even have to have the silhouette and the um, stencil paper. If you find stencils in the store, it will work. Look, I'm so <laughs> excited. I've always been so upset I can't put pretty chalk art on my little chalkboard on the um, island. So I am super duper excited about this. So I hope that inspires you to get out there and do some chalk art. Thanks a lot.